Whatever you insert after I am is one of the most powerful things that your brain is hearing. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Evans, welcome back to Questionably Awesome. Thank you, Lori. Good morning. Good morning. Have you had your coffee? I did. What kind of coffee this morning? Uh, just regular old coffee from the grocery store. Wait, you made it yourself? I made it myself. Drip drip pot or I percolator? Did. I got one of those refillable plastic K-cup things that you don't throw them away. You like refill with oh, coffee yes. grounds. Okay. Because so, we do know what we can know. happen with the K-cups. Yes. And if anyone's like, oh my God, they just say... That they can hold a lot of chemical pesticides or when yes. the plastic heats up, yeah. you're eating that plastic. So none of that. No, exactly. But do you ever want to get a percolator so that you can go back to that song and like Percolate. while you're in the kitchen, you can be like, it's time for the percolator. Yes. It's time for the percolator. And you could twerk. Yeah. And I sometimes I just do. Are you able to make one butt cheek twerk and then the other? You know, I've tried and I, <laughs> I still try. I don't think I can twerk. I cannot. I don't think I can twerk, period, to be honest. Is it something that you want to work on? Is it a it is. goal or is it? <laughs> it is a goal. I like. I love that people can do that. Yeah, I feel like that would be a nice goal for to, to be done by your honeymoon. Yeah, I think Adam <laughs> really would like that. And so would my parents. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just do that at our reception, they'd be like, wow, is Evan's twerking? Oh, I love that. Is that one butt cheek? Look at the control. <laughs> Look at the control Look at our on our daughter. I just had no idea as I was powdering those buns that they would be such an active role in my life. Powdering those little twerk buns. <laughs> Do you think that we should make twerk powder like magic powder? <laughs> yes. And have it be like, just sprinkle this on your buns and watch your butt magically start I twerking. Do. <laughs> and it should have a little sparkle. <laughs> Should. And it's actually like something that causes your nerves to twitch. Yes. So like as you walk, it's like trick, 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 trick. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh. Wait, do you know, isn't it interesting how women used to like powder themselves? I powdered myself. I, I had a powder puff. You had a poof, right? Or yeah. whatever it was. Totally. And, and I was like, oh, well, got to put my powder on for the day. We've talked about this, I think. Have we? Powdering? I don't know. Powdering? Maybe this was a conversation with that Outside. you had at, at um like a cocktail hour or something. Okay. <laughs> and you know what would happen is powder would get on your clothes then. And sometimes yes. you'd see like, I'd be like, oh, mom, you have some powder on your pants. Yeah. <laughs> powder was a big thing. And you had to like, I feel like in the summer it was big because you yeah. were sweaty down there. You just want to talk up your whole body. Yeah. <laughs> you just need a powder. I just want to be like, hey, I know you're looking at me like I'm human, but I don't sweat because I have powder. I have an inch of powder in my underwear right now. <laughs> So <laughs> the like, things we do to stay, like, to stay, whatever. Like what if we did double layer underwear and one layer, you could just fill it with powder and it would just kind of seep out when it was needed. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of that noise. I swear to God. <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> like it's the airwick when you walk in the room. Yes. So whenever you walk in a new room, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, oh, I feel better. They're like, dude, is that florals? And you're like, actually it is mixed with eucalyptus. It's new. It's very calming. Did you know pandas eat eucalyptus? <laughs> but you know what? So right now I'm like a panda attractor. Be careful. <laughs> Someone in California is <laughs> going to think panda about on that. Your ass. Why is that panda eating your butt? Oh, it's my new eucalyptus airwick underwear. <laughs> <laughs> panda <laughs> pants. That's going to be on goop. Just wait. <laughs> they steam their vagina on goop. What? Yeah, it's a thing. For why? <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be good for you, for your 
I don't know anything about it. I just know Gwyneth Paltrow talks about steaming her. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Vagina on Why here? do we do that? I don't know. I think it's some kind of like keeping it young, keeping it fresh. I don't know. I, I don't, don't know what these I California don't have any photo shoots do. lately. So <laughs> I think that whatever's happening down there for me is great. Me too. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm just, I, steaming sounds a little scary. Mm hmm. I don't even steam my face. I don't even steam yeah. my clothes. Do you do that with an iron? Is that how they're doing it? Uh oh, God! Like a steam I iron? Hope not. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> very like regular dangerous. iron. But if you don't have a face steamer, what are you doing that? Oh, with? I think you go get it done. I definitely you not go doing get it. it done. <laughs> definitely not doing it. Like I don't know about you, but even if you go get waxed, I'm just like I am. I feel like I need to just sit and talk with this person first and be like, hey, yeah. really grateful for you. And also, sorry, I don't know why. Maybe I have some shame. Should, can we talk about it? Yeah. Should we do? Are you also a therapist? Are you a waxing therapist? And they're like, please just stop talking. Are to you me. a wear this this done? Wear, wear up this? Sorry. Yeah. They're like, please shut up, ma'am. Um. So what's up, Lori? Oh, sorry. We went down a spiral. <laughs> we did. Hey, how was your? Hey, how was your weekend? Oh my gosh, it was really fun. Do you know what I did? What? I went to your house. <laughs> Do tell me all about it because I haven't gotten to talk to you since. I know. It was so fun. And you made the, us the most lovely dinner. Salmon. Yeah. No, I felt so healthy and great after. Oh my God. I love hearing that because yeah. I feel like my goal when I entertain is to show people like, see, we can still have treats and eat super healthy. Yeah. And you don't have to go home and be like, oh my God, I'm going to die. No. Do you know, I actually called my mom the next day and I was like, Lori's just a great reminder that you can have people over and be healthy and have fun and it still be lovely. Oh my God. That is it's true. Just the happiest ever. Mm -hmm. And so I'll give you my, I'll give you my tip on that. Tell me. So just fill your sides with tons of vegetables because there's amazing vegetable sides. Yeah. Have like a healthy main mm -hmm. and then have one thing that people can go to town on. So like a big thing of pasta. That was so good. And that really gives the option of like, hey, you're going to fill your plate with mostly healthy. But if you're somebody who wants to just go to town on pasta or something like that, absolutely. I have a massive bowl for you. It was so good. Do it up. But yep. that's the key. I always do that when I'm putting it together in my cart because sometimes I get overwhelmed mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, so 75% healthy, one just like, blah. That's, blah, 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 blah. that's a great tip. And talk about that yummy dessert too. Oh, Jackie brought mochi ice cream and so mochi good. ice cream things. Yeah. What are those things? So they're covered. So it's just, I, I think it's just like gelato covered in mochi, which is freaking awesome. So it's that chewy texture, but so wasn't that good. great? And those two yeah, were just like little cream. bite sized things that were super fun. Yeah, and you don't feel, and you're very satisfied with them. Yeah. I mean, I could eat the whole thing, but one well, little I had bite. Three, yeah, so. I think I had like four. So let's be honest. You're like one little bite, and I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> or the box. One little bite of four of them really satisfied me. Yeah. It was really awesome. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> do you have a quote? Oh, yeah, I do. Wait, do we do reviews first? <gasps> oh, let's do a review. You're going to love this one. It's from Tracy Nadler. Tracy, we love you. Love Tracy Nadler. Tracy is like, a light in the world. She and is. also has the best style. She has and the best style. Just like one of the most awesome women. Hi, Trace. I, I agree. She's Can just, I call you Trace? She's okay. one of those people. She just shows up in the world and she does so much good work. She is just, uh huh. she's a good person. We just love her. I love her so much. <laughs> she said, you and Evans are seriously so hilarious. I eagerly await every Wednesday to hear your silliness, humor, and sound advice. Whoa. Your podcast makes me literally laugh out loud and put so much joy in my heart. Mm -hmm. I love how you combine humor with self-help and are just being yourselves. It's so refreshing to listen to. I wish I could hear you every day. Like, I'm not kidding you. Could have a morning show just like Hoda and Kathy Lee, now Jenna. Thank you for showing up as you and providing laughter and wisdom to my day. Wow. That and that's really our goal. Sweet. And thank you so much, Tracy. That was like the nicest thing to ever hear. And confirmation on, you know, her and I would love to do a every morning show. <laughs> yeah. Could I just do this and then like be like, we're done? Yeah, we're done for the day. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, great. My See morning ya. has started awesome. Okay. Um, Tracy, if you want, you know, a mug or a t-shirt, you just write in customer service and you let us know because yeah. I want to send you something awesome or I'll just see you soon. Yeah. I did <laughs> one of your events. Yes, exactly. She's so wonderful. <laughs> All right. What is your quote, Evans? Um, my quote comes from a composer. So it's music related. 
Ooh. It says the pause is as important as the note. Wow. Which I really liked right now. <gasps> I really love that. How does that Isn't how that does nice? that relate to your life? Because everything is very busy and moving fast. Mm. And um sometimes I just before I get angry about something or stressed out, I just need before to be you like, hulk out. Yep. For mm-hmm. a hulk out, I need to just pause for a second. I just want to see you hulk out once. I screamed into a pillow two days ago. Did you really? That's yeah. so awesome. It felt really was good. Around? Yeah, Adam was. He saw the whole thing. And he's still around. Yeah. I was Isn't like, I'm going to go crazy for a second. He was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that too, where I've just been like, Chris, I just need to let it all out. And gotta it's let it like out. a, it's, it's a, it's like witnessing something. Yeah. It's literally witnessing like, oh, <laughs> let little angry Evans out. You got to let her out. out. Like Tasmanian devil, like just spin around and just turn purple or whatever color you want. Just turn into a little tornado. Well, how are you feeling now? So much better. I let it out. Yeah, exactly. I think that is one of the most important things to like have somebody to talk to, Mm -hmm. have a pillow to scream into or have somebody witness your like where you're at. Yes. It's so powerful. I was thinking of that yesterday when I needed to talk about something. I was just like, I need to just like have somebody witness how I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Why am I keeping this in? It's just going to be so much better just to say it out loud. And it was. So I love that. And I also love the pause because in playing guitar, it's so true. Like there's always like this pause that you want to rush through, but it's important for the song Mm -hmm. to like be the song and know how long the pauses are. It's really interesting. The song can't be the song without the pause. No, Just like can't. Evans can't be Miss Evans without the pause. You got to have that pause. She turns into Hulk. Mm-hmm. Get scary. <laughs> scary. All right. This one is from the Tonester, AKA Tony Robbins. Woo woo. It is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. And I've been talking Ooh. a lot about deciding. Yes. Evans, I'm going to get that decide tattoo. I really am. Good. And I am. Just watch me. Decide. Yeah. As soon as I have a little time, I'm going to go in. And Are you going to get it in your, in your mouth? My lower lip. Your lower lip. Yes. I actually know people with that, um, which is just so gangster. Yeah, it I'm is like, pretty yes. gangster. Yes. I'm like, that is pretty hardcore. Like that would be super painful. Yeah. I don't think I could do that. So props to them. Mm-hmm. I did have my tongue pierced when I was 18. Did it hurt? Oh yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It was a, uh, one of those rebellious acts that I was like, yeah, we all I'm have sticking them. it to the man. Yeah. Except I realized I was the man getting sticking stuck. it on my tongue. So I was like, oh, didn't prove anything to anyone. <laughs> but it was fun. a nice uh, tongue infection, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on my way to Mexico, like, and oh, I no. was like, I'm going to get my tongue pierced. And yeah, which you're not supposed to like drink or smoke. I did both. Yeah. And I just had the most swollen tongue the whole time. I was a did super smart hurt? kid. Um, <laughs> it I was just terrible. A lot of people, young people will do that. You're not alone. Yeah, I'm definitely not alone. Yeah. So anyway, super cool girl at 18. Like, hey, no, my name's Lori. Uh, my name's Lori. Uh, do you have any Corona? <laughs> it's really awesome. I like, this is, uh, this is so much fun. Are you having fun? On the spring break. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, but you know what? You have a story to tell now. I sure do. Okay. So love that quote because it's in those moments of decision that your life actually changes. And so many of us are saying we're going to do it, but we never actually decide because decide is backed. A decision is backed with action, backed with pulling out all of your other options. And also speaking life into it. There's a lot that goes into a decision. So I should really do a podcast on that. Yeah, you really should. Do you have a question? Oh, yeah. I have a lot of questions. Um, they're about resistance. Okay. Speaking I'm ready. of needing to make a decision. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this Pretty one's much. from at Ern Marie. How do I have all the pieces and support I need to do this thing, but I still don't do it? Oh, I love that question. Well, I, I think first of all, all the support and all of the, what does she say, Marie? I have all the pieces and support, but I'm still not doing it. So you have all the pieces and all the support, but you are missing one step. What? And that is to set something in stone or have an action that you have to show up for no matter what. So probably because you did not put something on the line, like you didn't put money down on something, you didn't set a date, you didn't Mm -hmm. join something, you didn't book a teacher. You didn't book a coach. You didn't um, book a class. You didn't 
you know, you have to have something really tangible that gets you started because you can have all the support and everything that you need. But if you don't actually take the action and be like, right now I'm putting this on my credit card or right now I'm booking that class or right now I'm calling my friend and we're booking some, that trip together or whatever that thing is. Or you're just not going to move forward. It'd be like talking about getting married, but never actually getting a ring or setting a date. You're like, I don't get it. I have the guy. Yeah. I have the vet. Like, I know where I want to get married. I know where I want to go. I can see our two and a half children already. Right. Except I don't understand why we're just not leaping over the broomstick. You didn't set a date. You didn't didn't put money down on the venue. Nope. You didn't actually commit to that ring. You didn't say the words out loud for everyone to hear. You didn't send the invitation. You didn't do the thing. Dang. Son of a bitch. You didn't do it. You're not going to get married if you don't do those things. You're not going to be married. So go and do those things. You can talk about it all you want. You can even, like I said, you can have that man. He can be full-fledged ready for you. And if you're not doing something. Then you ain't doing yeah. him. <laughs> ain't doing anything. Maybe anybody. you are. I yeah. don't know what your beliefs are. We don't know. So we're going to leave it there. And so that person, so Ern Marie just needs to put something on the line. Put something on the line so that your higher self is forced to come out. I need to do that too, Ern Marie. I yeah. feel you. We both feel you. Yeah, it's hard. Actually, I'm putting a lot on the line right yeah, now. Yeah, you all, you're really good about putting stuff certain on things, the line. Certain things. Yeah. Um, do you want another question? Yeah. Okay. This one is from Michelle, uh, Michelle O Fitness. How do you quickly identify resistant behavior, thoughts, and paradigms and redirect the energy? Mm-hmm. I love that Michelle Obama wrote in. I know, Michelle Obama. I didn't know she listened. Um, (laughs) So sweet of her. I know. Thank you for listening. Uh, (laughs) And she does love fitness too. So it probably probably does. Can you read that again from Michelle O? How do you quickly identify resistant behavior, thoughts, and paradigms and redirect the energy? Okay. So something that I'm in right now is just that whole phase of like, nothing is bad. Resistance is really for you. So when you get it, it's actually a really positive thing. Mm -hmm. It's showing you like, this is new and this is exactly where you're meant to be. So a lot of us can be like, oh, here it is again. Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. Yeah. (laughs) It's a little bit of a, what president is that? President Bush? That does sound like President Bush. Won't be pertinent at this juncture. It's very Texas. Spade. Yeah. So I think identify it as, oh, this is telling me this is new. This mm-hmm. is something that's going to be a bit more of a challenge. And if I apply focus to it, there's going to be a reward. So yeah. when resistance comes up, I'm like, here it is. There's going to be a reward if I sit in this fire. Like I sit in the discomfort because resistance is really uncomfortable. It... To me, it literally feels like my inner temper tantrum, like my inner toddler is having a temper tantrum. And it's like, oh my God, it wants to do anything but this. But I know if I can kind of tame this right now and just sit through it, there's a huge reward on the other side. Yeah. So I just identify it and sit with it. Did I answer that? You answered Yeah. That. You said, how do you, quickly, how do you quickly identify the resistant behavior? You, you, you know what it is. Yeah. I think you absolutely know what it is. It's it's wanting to do anything, but sit down and do the thing you have to do. Right. For sure. What do you do? Um, Evan? So when you are in resistance around, what are you in resistance around right now doing? Is there something? Oh, I've got some things on my wedding to do list that I have not done. And how come? Cause they're just not. Cause I just don't feel like it. (laughs) Yeah. Which is a terrible excuse. Because they're not super fun things. Yeah. Like they're what? just like little little tasks I need to get done. I'm trying to think. Just like, you know, the last minute to-do list that is just boring, like admin stuff. Yes. So like with any event, you've got those little things. And you know what? I know I need to do them. So instead of going like for a walk or watching something on Netflix, just yeah. get them done. Yeah. Do you have plans to do them? How are you going to get through it though? Um, Schedule well, them or you what? Know what I you know do? you have to do them soon. Got to do them soon. I made a spreadsheet with all my final to-do lists and I set, uh, I really did do this. I can show you. I set <laughs> due dates. And so I have to follow those due dates or else it's not going to be done because no one else is going to do it. So you you did something huge. Yeah, yeah I guess I did said, yeah. do it. So you know it's coming. I know it's coming. Right. And that's some of the first steps because I think sometimes we're like, Oh, I'm not doing it. Well, get yourself ready to do it then. Yeah. If you know that the next step is not like, oh yeah, I'm going to go from zero, not wanting to do this, watching Netflix and eating cheese puffs on your couch to doing it. That's not going to happen. So I think that that 
that step of putting it in the calendar with a deadline. Yes. That's actually what I'm talking about. That's the decision. So you've made the decision that you are doing it. Yes. And you've made the decision of when. And you've also made the realization that if you don't do it, then it's not getting done. Right. No one so else I freaking love it. that you just pointed that out because that's actually the decision moment is putting it in your calendar and being like, here's where I'm going to show up for it. Mm-hmm. Even if I don't want to, but here's how it like, that's how I am all the time. I know my deadlines Yep. and deadlines are deadlines for me. Like if I don't Gotta do them, done. then then they're just not getting done. And that's a real problem because then I'm letting people down. And it's the worst feeling. You you don't want to miss deadlines. No, you really don't because then nothing's, you're not getting married. You're not jumping over that broom. No, you, there's no broom. No broom. And I got to order the broom. I, do you have the deadline for that? I need to add it to the task yeah. list. <laughs> Could you please add a broom to your ceremony? That would be so cute. And just jump the little like bow. I love that little a bow tradition. On a broom. That'd That's be a so, cute where tradition. Where did that come from? You know, I have no idea. Everyone has so many different, there's so many unique things you can do. Are you going to do anything at your wedding that's like a bring in some different traditions? Um, We're having champagne during the ceremony. Like everyone's going to get a glass when they sit down. Oh, during the ceremony? Yeah. So while you're getting married? Yeah. I wanted people to feel relaxed. So that's so much better than waiting. I agree. That's so nice. I mean, you're like, this is, this is a dry ceremony. Right. No pun intended. (laughs) Well, we're not getting married in a church or anything, so we have right. that ability to. I guess, I, out, yeah, you know, I guess champagne in church could also be a, a that, way to get your members going. That would be. You'd have a really. I feel like people would sing more. Probably, they I would, think it'd get your membership up. For yeah, sure. in the in the the uh, pockets would be looser. You know what? You'd get you'd get a lot of money for your church. You that sure way. would. So <laughs> anybody who wants to start a champagne church. Did you say you go to a champagne church? I sure do. Sure do. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Um, okay. This is from Rebecca Manella. How do you work through the discomfort when resistance resents as anxiety? Oh, resistance presents as anxiety or panic. How do you work through that discomfort? Oh, I just... You know, I've been really welcoming discomfort because that is where you change. And we we try to run from change so much and then we just run to more of the same. Mm-hmm. So I've just been like, here it is. Here's those butterflies. Here's that dizziness. Here's where I think I'm going to pass out. Here's where I've been getting it d- visit me. I've been getting it visit me <laughs> in weird places. Um, <laughs> when does it me visit you? <laughs> me new to earth. <laughs> me... Me here, first time. <laughs> Resistance, big. It's true, though. It happens. Me sit in fire. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> burn old self away. Become new. <laughs> am I a caveman or am I an alien? Or a, both. a combo. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Halloween's coming up. I could be both. You could be a caveman a- alien. <laughs> a alien. <laughs> All right. No offense to any aliens out there because I actually think we have no. some that listen. No, yeah. I feel like an alien pretty much 80% of my life. Yeah, so. I like that. <laughs> Don't mind me. Forgive what I said. I'm an alien. I'm an alien. I'm new here. I'm new here. Constantly in new situations. That would be great if you could use that excuse. Like, sorry, I just got to this planet. I'm still figuring it out. Alien. Have you ever seen Men in Black? Me. You ever seen Coneheads? Me. (laughs) Coneheads is a great movie if we haven't seen it. I think I saw it, but it was years ago. I'll have to watch that again. It's pretty pretty wild. see if I want to take another two hours of my life to invest into that again. Coneheads. Yeah. Wait, but what's the question? How do you work through the discomfort, Lori? How do you work through it? The you anxiety. work through it by working through it. But what if you're in a complete state of panic and you're like, I don't know what to do. Then you just sit there and you let that feeling rush over you and you mm-hmm. observe it. You know, I think I think one of the biggest things is becoming an observer instead of an active participant in the anxiety. And that might sound so weird and like, Mm-mm. just weird therapist talk or something, which by the way, I love me a good therapist. Um, Same. But 
we you say that in order for you to understand that you are not you're not your thoughts and you're not your feelings. Yes, they are so happening. But the second that you can become like an observer instead of this is happening to me and like this is okay, this is happening. Mm-hmm. It's like you get less attached to it and you stop fueling it. So yes. I just this literally just happened in Soul Cycle. Like I don't know why I was getting like rushes of panic. Oh, I know why. Cause I wasn't feeling that good. And one of the, uh, one of my friends was like, um, I gave her a hug in the morning before we got on the bike. And I I was like, Hey, how are you? And she's like, how, you know, she was great. And she said, how are you? I'm like, I think I'm fighting a cold. I feel a little dizzy. So I'm a little worried about this ride. I might pass out. Yeah. uh So I said that in my, you know, I was just joking. I was like, or she was like, feel better or something. I'm like, well, we'll see how it goes. I might pass out. And I was like, yeah, I just spoke life into me passing out. And then I just started to like panic on my bike. And you guys, you kept thinking. I was observing how I was like, oh my God, I spoke life into that. And I'm like, come on. You know that you can just be here. You know that you could walk out of the room. So I gave myself all the options. I'm like, you can walk out of the room. (laughs) You can let this happen and just watch it happen. If you pass out, great. People will help you. It's not a big deal. You'll come back and it won't be a big... So I went through all of the things and I was like, just detached from Mm -hmm. thinking all of these different things. But I just observed how I just kind of stepped away from the feeling and I was like, okay, it's happening. Let it wash over your body. And it kept happening while I was on the bike. And I was like, just let it keep happening. It's totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's normal. And I actually know that this happens to like... Oh my God, I, I'm not going to put a percentage on it, but I would I would say this is happening to over half of the people that you realize, whether it's in the same room as you. Yep. When I So when I started sharing, even that that's happened in SoulCycle, other people came up and they're like, that happens to me all the time in there, but I keep using it as like my teacher to keep showing up even with it. Yes. So I keep showing up to the places and the things with it and I keep allowing it and I keep observing how the feeling is just like, trying to keep me from doing it, but I'm going to keep showing up and sitting in it and observing it and being like, this is normal. It's totally normal. Don't you think it's the thought of it not being normal that we're more panicked about? Yes. Tell me. Just I, I did that same take thing the wheel. in um, yoga, the hot yoga ones that are intense. I will sometimes be like, I can't do this. Is the other person going to think I'm weird? Like, what if I bat? Like yes. those stupid things just to give it another workout example. Yeah. But everybody in that class. First of all, if you pass out, no one cares. Yep. No one cares. Like people are going to care. Of course. They're going to help you. But everyone is in the same boat. You often think like when you're at a party or something like that, you're the Mm -hmm. only person that's nervous. I guarantee you everybody's nervous. And I say that at parties. So whenever Mm -hmm. you can, like you can be like, hey, I'm nervous or whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I I would, no, you can say what you want. But for me saying the words, I might pass out, just put it in my brain. I'm not going to say that. I'll just be like, you know, I'll probably avoid saying things like that so that I don't speak it into life. But as far as being nervous, I think sometimes calling it out and being like, I, oh, here's another thing. What? I'm catching myself right now. And I'm sure a lot of the people who do mantras and affirmations and all of those (gasps) good things. I feel like I'm saying I am nervous. It's I feel nervous. Yes. I feel this because- you are not, you're not, I am is one of the most, whatever you insert after I am is one of the most powerful things that your brain is hearing. Right. That's so true. And just that little shift of saying, I feel anxious rather than I'm anxious. Yeah. It's a huge difference. Oh, I've just been noticing I need to change my language again. And this is so crazy really? because no matter how much, even if you teach on it, I've literally written about this in my book. You go back to the, like you always have to go back to the basics and the fundamentals. Yep. Always. Because you forget little things. Yeah. Speaking of basic and fundamentals, I find even I've been really stressed and I just got a good night's sleep. Yeah. Let's just give a shout out to sleep. Sometimes you just need to drink some water and go to bed. Let's make a sleep jersey. Yes. You know how like guys have football teams Yes. and some girls. Yeah. Let's literally be like a sleep jersey and just on the back, it's like sleep number one. Yeah. Oh my God. And they'll uh, be like, is that a team? And you'll be like, yeah, I'm team sleep. Fantasy sleep ball. Oh my God. And we could just be like, how many hours are you getting? Yeah. And we'll just like pick different What sleep. kind of sheets do you oh have? God, I'll be like sleeping in Fiji on Egyptian cotton. Yeah. 2000 thread count. AC What's temperature 65. Oh my God. And like whoever picks last, like kind of has like cotton sheet, super eight motel. Yep. And you're like, ooh, maybe not the best sleep, but yeah, put a but quarter could, in that vibrating you bed. It. You could maybe make it happen. Like, <laughs> like new hotel, new on the roster. And we're like all fighting for it. Yeah. We see a lot of promise. Yes. <laughs> 
there's, I'm sorry, but sleep is just so <laughs> underrated. Team sleep. Team sleep all the way. Do you like it? You, are you a hot sleeper or are you a cold sleeper? Do you sleeper? like it hot or do you like it cold? I like it freezing. Oh, cold. Freezing. I set my I set my air conditioner. I just got a new Dyson fan. Oh, that's nice. I think I've told the story that I had a chili pad for a while, which is oh, like yeah, a cooling your chili pad. pad. And yeah, but it broke multiple times. So for, no, I decided I was done with the chili pad because yeah. I just got really sick of of fixing those things. Yeah. So you guys, it's a pad that pumps cool water through, which is freaking amazing. But for some so reason, nice. I just feel like I had a defective one. But yeah. Try it. If you're a really hot sleeper and you can't figure it out, and that, yeah. I slept so good on that thing, but it was a, a little loud. It's a little like... It makes noise. Like, because there's motors on the side that pump through it. So if you're an gotcha. ear, earplug sleeper, great. Or if you like the sound of white noise, awesome. This yeah. is for you. But it was definitely like motors in the room. Yeah, that... But the cold, I got to have that cold. I got to be honest. It was so amazing. It's like when you crawl into crisp sheets <gasps> and they're super cold and you're like, oh, yes. this is going to be delicious sleep. That is so nice. Oh God, it's so good. All right. Well, any parting words? Um, I would just say, <laughs> trying to think, I don't know what to say except for get outside and plant a tree. Oh my goodness. That would be nurturing. Yeah. Get outside, plant a tree, be in nature. Yes. We really should plant a tree. We should. When do you want to do that? Uh, Probably in December. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. That's my birthday month. Yeah, exactly. We could plant a tree for your birthday. Sagittarius. You're Scorpio? Yep. I love that. Okay. All right, guys. Until next time, uh, be questionably awesome in all parts of your life. Because sometimes if you strive for awesome, it can really just be a lot of stress. It can So let yourself be questionable as well. It's all good. Free yourself. Forgive yourself. Give yourself grace. Love yourself. And go to sleep. Go to sleep. Team sleep. Woohoo. Bye. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought and honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community. And everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, Not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody going to be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so 
you can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it's just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers use this and now their smart ai platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com that's k-a-j-a-b-i.com